Hey, what's up Capricorn? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Carol. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. I'm going to take a look at you and the person you're dealing with and see the energy between you guys. After that, I'll take a look at single Capricorns and see what's coming in next for you. Then I will do some predictions, some general predictions, and then after that, I'll pick an oracle card for you. Timestamps are in the description box as well as my website information if you're interested in a personal reading. That being said, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't fit you, I'll take the information with you. What's going on with Capricorn and the person on their mind? Capricorn, I feel like you're being watched. The overall energy for the reading is a Ten of Wands. It kind of gives me the, the vibe that there could be something that you're almost done with or some situation that has been heavy on you, but I see you getting over it. Ten of Wands is like the completion of that suit. So that's telling me that that's the ending of something here for you. You're in the King of Swords energy right now. You're trying to be focused. Um... You might have some goals in mind that you're trying to reach. Especially um, with your physical appearance. This other person, I feel like they're focused on home, whatever that means for them, everything in their home. This doesn't really have anything to do with you. Um, you're seeing this person as the death card. So that means this is something that could have already ended. Something that you're possibly not interested in. They're looking at you like the seven of wands. So they think they probably still have a chance. I'm seeing you're not looking at them with any potential. They're looking at you like, wow, you look great. Some of you guys could be on social media. Like a big social media presence is what I'm getting. Energy between you guys is the Six of Swords, so I feel like there is distance here, and what's crossing is the Page of Swords, so there's no communication, and someone is watching someone else. I feel like it's this person watching you, Capricorn. Take a how it resonates. Your focus and your uh, intentions for yourself is total happiness. You want, like, you want the whole thing. You want marriage. You want kids. You want all that. The Capricorn I'm talking to right now wants all that. <laughs> if you don't want any of that, this is probably not your reading. Um, this person, their intentions is a nine of swords. So that as being an intention tells me that they're an overthinker. They probably don't have any intentions on taking any actions. So, and and it's kind of obvious to be, to be serious here. Um, the actions you're taking are Queen of Wands, is the Queen of Wands. That is action really more like for yourself, things that make you passionate. This person's action is, well, the Four of Pentacles. Not much, not giving much. Possible outcome is the hangman. So let's see. Let's clarify the King of Swords.
King of Swords. You're keeping to yourself. I feel like you're in a place that you don't want any drama. With the five of uh with the Five of Wands being there, I feel like you're just trying to stay away from drama and other people's BS, to be honest with you. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with some family issues within the home, things that have your attention at this time. Nothing horrible. Maybe some disagreements within a family dynamic. Let me see this person's energy with the Four of Wands. This person's going to want to bring something back from the dead. Now you're seeing this as being something that has been done with and over. Um, so this person and you haven't communicated in a while. You guys could have been like either together long term. If it was marriage, if it was just messing around for a long time, take that how it resonates. I do feel like this person is working on their home life. I don't know if it involves you necessarily. Um, there is something here about this person trying to, I don't know if this person's in another commitment that they're trying to work on, but it kind of feels like that. It gives me the vibes of being, like working on another commitment. That's for some of you and for the other half is like wanting to revive this connection so take that how it resonates i'm gonna i'm gonna have to clarify that but yeah that's what i'm getting both stories it could be um like it's divided so you're seeing them as a death card why is that why are they the death card to you You guys were not on the same page. I feel like um, one of you gave more to this connection. There was a lot of inconsistencies. Um, it's almost like somebody didn't take it serious enough. I got, I got good cards here, but to describe what I'm trying to tell you is the lovers and the two of cups, they're not the same. Someone's giving two of cups style love versus... The lover style love, it's just not the same. It's inconsistent. That's how you're seeing this person. And I don't read cards like regular people, so if you're gonna if you're gonna comment on the definitions of those cards, you can. I mean, I'm not gonna listen to it because I read how I read, but just letting you know. They're looking at you as someone that's not putting in any effort to them. I don't see a lack of, I don't see any cooperation. I was going to say a lack of cooperation. There is a lack of cooperation coming from you because you're coming up to this person as the Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. So I feel like you guys have distance between you, maybe not speaking, and I feel like that's more on your part. You could know this person from work or through a friend group with the Three of Pentacles there doesn't have to be let me see the uh, ten of cups for your intentions mm. see that you don't have intentions towards this person you're looking for something better, something new, something better. And you're not even telling anybody that. You're not telling no one with the moon being there. This is just something that you're, it's, it's like you know what's coming. You know something is coming that's better for you. Let me get the nine of swords for this person.
That is hilarious. This person is waiting for you to come back. And it's like, some of you guys, this is a third party situation. So they have someone else. Others of you, it's like, they, they don't want to see you with anyone else. But they're kind of, uh, yeah, they're kind of stressing out about seeing you with someone else or not wanting you to move on from them. It's like they want to work on things with you, but not really. When I say not really, it's like they're thinking about you, but they're not making any moves towards you. So this could be really somebody you're not talking to. They could like secretly want to work things out and there's no communication on it or anything. Queen of Wands, that frustrates me because it's like you want so much and you don't say a word and you don't do anything. So it just is what it is. You can't wait for this person. I see why you're waiting for something new. I could tell. That makes sense. Whoa. Okay. That's for the Queen of Wands. You see that? And I got the Queen of Wands again to clarify. So that's you. Your actions is literally not putting any effort towards this person and focusing on yourself with two queen of wands here i feel like you're gonna take your focus into a more physical aspect um working on your self-confidence working on your appearance working on things that make you feel good let's see the four of pentacles for their actions Or they're going to just think about you. They're going to try to think about you and manifest you. Let me get two more cards for this. I don't see them letting you go. I don't see them taking any actions. They could definitely see you. If you have a social media presence, it's like they watch you. They do see you as potential but they're not making any moves towards it. You could have a history with this person as well. I don't see them making any effort towards you. With all the good cards that came out, they probably have you on a pedestal, to be honest, but for a pentacles, they're not giving you effort. So who cares what they think about you if, if that's what you're going to get? I could have all of the prettiest cards and the best cards. Let me just pick all the good cards and put them there under this person's feelings and then that's their actions come on now the hangman as the outcome you don't say i bet you that's this person not doing much actually it's you so but the hangman is you looking at things different this is you looking at this whole situation and realizing that it may have happened for you and not to you. There's a lot of healing going on here. You're going to be a brand new person by the time this is over with. It's like you heal and you change with the judgment card. There's a lot of new things coming in for you and then you become the empress. So this is where you're at right now working on yourself and this is where you're going to end up being after a while of just, you know, focusing on you. I don't see this connection going anywhere. I got to be honest. If this is the person you're dealing with, don't expect much action from them. Um, you got something better coming along and you know it. That's when someone new comes into your life. So that's what I got for you. Let me do singles. Even though this almost felt like you're going to be single soon, maybe you want to stay tuned for the next portion. <laughs> And nothing wrong with being single. Single Capricorns. What's coming in for my single Capricorns?
All right. The next person coming in for you is Mew. They are coming in in the Emperor energy. That is somebody that's going to match you because I did see you. Um, the last reading is kind of like hitting me right now where the end was the Empress. Um, doesn't mean that you're female, male. It has nothing to do with that. It's an energy. So I feel like this is an energy coming in. It could be someone with authority um, with the Emperor being there. I'm picking up maybe even someone in law enforcement. Doesn't have to be, okay? This just gives me the vibes also, if it's not someone specifically in law enforcement. This gives me also the, the vibes of um, someone who's their own boss, possibly, or has um, that type of responsibilities in their career. There's something with that there. The intention of this person is probably with the hangman and the two of cups to take it slow to get to know you. And the outcome is up to you with the judgment card being right by the Knight of Cups. I feel like there's going to be a chance to get to know someone here. Let's see. Clarify the Emperor and the Fool. How will you know who this person is? What will they reveal about themselves? They could have been going through something in their past. I feel like this person is the type of person to keep their feelings mostly to themselves. Um, they do have them. They're, they're just not very expressive with their emotions. I feel like their heart is in the right place. And there's definitely something here about being stable. About being stable and possibly wanting to go slow. We'll see. Uh, intentions. This person could be a Pisces, an Aries, a Virgo. I don't know all these signs here, but I want to say Scorpio. I feel like this person wants to go slow. Um, I would advise you to also take it slow with the seven of wands coming out for intentions. Make sure you have your boundaries put in place. That way, this person won't go in undetected. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, if there are certain behaviors that you see as unhealthy and this person does it, honestly, this is a learning phase. You're learning who this person is. So them doing silly stuff like that, that you see as toxic is a red flag. It's not a, oh, we're just getting to know each other as, wow, they're doing that and I hate that. <laughs> I'm not a commitment fool, but I am someone that says, you know, put your boundaries up and see who's willing to cross them. And I think that that's a good thing for you to do in this situation because you are the page of swords. It is something new, something new, someone new. Page of Swords doesn't necessarily mean you, but it does to me here. That in the Fool. Maybe a new way of approaching connections is more like it. I should say that better. Knight of Cups and Judgment for the Outcome. This might not work out with those cards there. Hold on a second. Clarify it one more. This is ringing to me kind of like it's either this person's not over whoever, whoever it is in their past. They're, they're not over it. So I feel like they might be interested and they might show some effort. And then when it comes time down to, to making the effort to actually be with you at some point, I feel like this person's going to get a little stuck. 
they're going to get stuck. There's still something they're not over. So just be aware of that. Take things slow. Who knows? This could change. Free will is at play always. So. We're going to take a look at some predictions for you. Let's get some predictions for Capricorn. Some of you guys looking to purchase a property. I see a little bit of a delay in that. It is still going to happen, just maybe not yet. Some of you guys are also looking for maybe even extra workspace from your home. I see that being a little bit of a challenge. That's going to change also if you're looking to change locations. I just see a delay in that. Um, it's still going to happen, just not yet. So, um, just so you know, a little patience, nothing wrong with that. Some of you guys could lose some money. Um, just watch out for any scams because I'm seeing kind of like a scam. So make sure you don't fall for it. There also could be someone around you that is having some issues with money just to um, let you know. Be, be wary of the people you let in your circle because I feel like they're around you for financial reasons at this time. Some of you guys might also be getting some kind of an inheritance, inheritance money from a like male. That's just for some of you to watch out for. Mega communication of some kind of a, um, a death in the family or something like that. As I say that, the, the fright card comes out. Don't be alarmed. Um, don't be alarmed. It, it might be it might be a sickness. But I do kind of see it like something that's already happened. So if this hasn't already happened, don't worry about it too much. But... Um, Because of something like that, I see maybe even some reconciliations within a family dynamic or a friend dynamic, if that's something that you're experiencing. It's almost like the energy of something bad like that will bring a lot more people together. So I'm kind of getting like a reunion, but under sad circumstances. So, and something also costing a lot of money here. Also be careful with... Um, Starting any new business ventures with anyone who is um, not going through good times right now. You might lose out some money working with anyone at the moment. If that's something you're trying to do. I will say this. I'm not... I guess qualified to give you legal advice or anything like that or financial advice or whatever do whatever you want it's free will I'm just reading you some cards so
I feel like you've had pretty inconsistent energy in your life when it comes to your uh, love, work, work, love, life, balance, something like that. It's like there's more um, work here. Some of you guys I see even in the future when marriage does come up, I'm seeing paperwork attached to it. So it's very well likely that you will want a prenup or have that other person sign a prenup or maybe you are going to sign a prenup, something like that. I see a prenup. I don't see it being bad. I just see legal paperwork attached to something like that. And I also see some of you are possibly not possibly so there you might not have your eyes set on someone yet when it comes to this love that you're gonna get if you're not already in it but it's coming in and it's coming in with a deep sense of friendship attached to it so it's not even like just a regular old oh, i'm gonna find somebody to sleep with if you're single it looks like something very committed coming in for you and if you're already in a relationship i see that in a good relationship i see that getting better to be honest You could have somebody try to apologize to you. It could be like someone in the family. I do see gifts being exchanged. So there might be like a party coming up. Because I am seeing maybe a trip. Maybe running into somebody you're not really connected to like that. And things may be turning out better. Something like that. Mm. You take that for what it, whatever that means. I'm not even sure what that was trying to say. Sometimes I connect really well, and other times, no, no. Just depends on what messages need to come through for you, that's all. Be careful of someone trying to play on your emotions. I feel like somebody might reach out to you and try to get you back on their good side. Oh, I miss you. Oh, I love you, or anything like that. Just be careful with it. They are coming out as the enemy in your spread. It just seems like they want you around. So there is a level of codependency here. They might be someone around you or there used to be someone around you and they miss you. And it's like they want to see you back with them. Now, when I say they miss you, this isn't something like um, they're thinking of you in a good way. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they're, maybe you want to see it that way as in, oh, they, they must, if they're thinking about me, they must miss me or no, not like that. It's more like they're thinking about you and they're seeing that you're doing better than them and they're not in a good place. So they miss you because they want you to be like them. Not because they see you in a better way. It's almost like misery loves company. So there's somebody around you very codependent on your energy so be careful with that person i feel like they're going to try to come back around and be very nice to you if you know this is someone who already drains you i wouldn't entertain it see that flatter and trap right at the end there's somebody who's going to try to get on your good side i wouldn't trust it and then you do have victory and love I don't, obviously, it's not with this person. It comes after this. It comes after that. So, let's take a look at some oracle messages for you. Let's get a spirit message for Capricorn. Spirit, what would you like to tell Capricorn?
Can you get balance yourself? Each part of your life contributes to the whole of who you are. The strength you draw from one area of your life can help you manage another. However, it is now time to reflect and address an imbalance. Weigh up how much time and energy you devote to your health, finances, career, relationships, personal interests, and all other aspects of your life. Once you have identified the areas that need to focus, that need your focus, make a plan to restore balance. Nurture your whole self, mind, body, emotions, and spirit. Look at the world around you. Pay attention to the energy of the Mother Earth, the seasons, the sun, and the moon. Consider how the patterns of nature affect your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, and how they release to the cycles, or how they relate to the cycles. <laughs> the medicine wheel supports your transition from one phase to the next. Bring your focus inward to grow, transform, release, and embrace a new stage of or aspect of yourself. So that is your message, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like. And if you're new, subscribe. And I will see you next time.